Hey, good day movement members. I got a good activity you can do sitting at your desk on a rainy day where it's really cold outside, just like it is right now. So this is a fun activity as you can see. I am in my office slash classroom slash uh, closet. So just hang tight. I'm gonna show you how to make a fun game. This is called football table. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. This is, we are going to make a paper football, a paper football. So you need two major items. You need a pencil, a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil. Piece of paper, a pen or pencil, and we're gonna make a paper football. So what you're gonna do, you have your regular paper, you're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna try to go pretty fast. As you can see, I have words on one side, so I'm gonna fold it in the half so my paper and my words are not showing. So I wanna line up my corners, get my corners good and square. Now, this is where I use my pencil for. I'm just gonna roll it out to make it good and square, all right? Make it a good crisp corner. Then, I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna fold it in half one more time. And I'm gonna push down, I can push down with my fingers. And then if I wanna take my pencil or pen, I can make a good crease and that's just gonna keep a really tight, short crease. Now, from here, I'm gonna take my paper. It doesn't matter from, if you wanna hold it, stand it up like this, you can. If you do, just take the ends and the ends are facing you, fold it in half again now, now you have having a smaller rectangle. Small rectangle. Take my pencil, roll it across. All right, there we go. Now, I go from here and I open it back up. Open it back up just like a book as you're reading. <clears throat> now I'm take one corner, put one finger in the middle so that it'll hold the whole paper down. Take the other end and I'm going to make a triangle or a diagonal corner. One piece is going diagonal right there in the middle. Oh, so it goes right there in the middle. From here, it almost looks like I'm about to start a bow tie. All right, so from here, I take the other end, my left hand, my left hand, my left hand is gonna fold straight over. Now, I know you all have seen this image somewhere before. You want to take your pencil, go across. What does that look like? All right, so from here, this is the back. I'm going to flip my paper over. You see, I just went from the back side, this is the back, and I'm going to flip it over. So I got it flipped over. So I take my, I'm holding it up in my hand, I take my finger, and I'm going to push. And when I push, I'm going to push to the back. Remember, this is the back. This tie is the front. So I go around to the back. Want to use my pencil. Then go across, crease out the edges. Now, from here, I want to go up, push up and over. Let me tell you a key word. We got to use this word three times. We're going to tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. So, so I went up. All right, I'm gonna go back real fast. I know some of you all are lost. Okay. Fold it in half. Oh, went the wrong way. Fold it in half. Come down. Across. Just the back. Fold it up. Well, that's the back. This is the front. Push down, push up. Now, from here, I'm going to tuck. I'm going to take this corner, that corner right there, and I'm going to tuck it under my diagonal line, under my triangle that is already there. I'm going to tuck it under there. Take it and tuck. What do I have? I have a rectangle. Now, from here, I'm going to take one finger and I'm going to 
push across the front. Push across the front, so I can push it down, and then I have a little lip over there, and then I'm gonna push it down one more time. So what do I have? A square. So I open it back up. See, I open it back up. Now, the only thing I have, I have a crease here, I have a crease here. So from this crease, the only reason why I have that crease is I just wanna make that crease line, and I wanna crease it down. Crease it down a little bit. Another key, what's the key word? Tuck. I want to take this corner and tuck it under. I'm going to take that corner and I'm going to tuck it all the way under. And I want you to tell me what do you see. You see a square. You see a square. All right. Now, you got a square, you can hold it like this. All right, you can put anything in it. You can hide your money under there. Nobody else will know. From here, I have the left side where it has the little pocket. The right side doesn't. You got to work real hard for this one. You're going to fold it in half. You got to use your muscles. Fold it in half. Fold it in half. And you push it together. Push on it. Oh, I got it. So I fold it in half and push down on it. Remember, what is the front? This front has this line on it, all right? The front, see the back doesn't have anything on it. That's just backwards. The front has the line. Then, key word is tuck. So tuck. So I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to tuck it under there. So you got to work real hard. So I'm going to get it and I'm going to tuck. And when I tuck it, I'm going to keep pushing it and rolling it. And it goes in there real hard and smooth. And you want it to look like a football. We did it. So from here, I'm going to write the word football. F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L. -L. Football. I have a football. I have one football, two footballs, three footballs, four footballs, five footballs, six footballs. I have six footballs. And there you go. That's how you make a football. We're going to play table football in one second. All right. Good day, Movement Mavericks. I got a great game. This the football, paper football game that's on the, on the table. So this is how you play, and I'm gonna show you all the equipment that you may need. Remember, you just made the footballs out of paper, the paper footballs, and I'm gonna show you all the setups. Here we go. So we have, I have six paper footballs right here. I have a pool noodle that I take to a table. I have cones have sticks, my uprights. Now, I also have a picture of some football players right there. Now, this is orange cone right here. It's the T that we kick off of. We have a number five, a number three, and a number two. So, it may take you a little bit of time to set that up. I'm not expecting you to set it up right now, but I'm going to show you how to play. You can score a total of 30 points with the game by making all six of the footballs through the upright. Now, if you don't have all the materials that I have, I'm going to show you what you can use. Just use your kitchen table. All right. You can use your, just your kitchen table. You can use a glass or a cup. If you could just, if you want to paint something or take your uprights on the wall, you can paint your uprights on the wall. I just have a football so you know it's a, we're playing football. If you want to put noodles on there, you can. Now the tea, this is the tea that we're going to use. We're going to put our football on the tee and kick it off. So we got to stand behind the five, 
behind the three or behind the two. If you make it behind the five, that is a total of five points. Obviously, if you make it behind the two, you get a total of two points. So, you're going to hold the T. On the, hold the football on the T. You're going to hold the football on the T. I'm going to go for my knee. It seems to work a little bit better. I'm going to use my finger and hold on. Try to keep it from the two spot. Right here behind the two. Let's see if I can make it. So close. So close. Almost. I just was going in. Yeah, I got two points. So I'm going to move my two back behind the five. Let's see if I can get it from this spot. I hit it early before we start leaving. Yes! Five points. I know you can do it also. Great job, Kobe Mavericks. Let's do it. All of my friends out there, if you could do it, make you a football table like I just did, video yourself, send it to your teacher, send it directly to me, however you want to do it. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you for everything. <laughs>